Good morning, my name is Manikan. I am from Aeronautica A. Now I am going to say about uh, beams. I have selected two beams, a uh, simple supported beam and a fixed beam. Let us start with simply supported beam. The simply supported beam is supported at two ends. Uh, one is uh, pinned and another one is uh, roller support. Uh, this is a diagram, a simple diagram of the simply supported beam. Okay, uh, but what is a, actually a simply supported beam? A simply supported beam is one of the most simplest structure uh, throughout all the beams. In the features of these two supports, the beam is connected at each end with two supports. So one of its end is pinned and another one is of a roller support. Upon acting any force on the beam, it does and does and undergoes a deflection. The deflection is a minimum at uh, the mean points. Uh, that is, x is equal to zero and x is equal to the length of the beam, and its maximum at uh, the midpoint of the beam. The deflection undergoes uh, a maximum deflection at the midpoint of the beam uh, you can see this in this picture that uh, there is a minimum deflection at the uh, left side left left hand side and uh, minimum deflection at the right hand side but the maximum deflection at the center of the beam this is what occurs uh, in a simply supported beam okay see this uh, practical thing the practical simply supported beam uh, which can be made in a home even uh, by keeping a scale uh, on a two supports on two simply supported things on a roller scale and on applying a force on it at the midpoint of the scale or the ruler it undergoes some deflection and the deflection is zero at the main points that is a uh, pinning point uh, and the roll, roller support point and uh, it will be maximum at the, the midpoint of the B. So we can give a boundary condition for a simply supported beam or any other beams even. Uh, let us see uh, what is a deflection at the length x is equal to zero. It is a deflection at uh, zero is zero because the beam is uh, pinned to its support and it doesn't undergo any deflection at the left hand support. Similarly, at a maximum length of the beam, I mean the length of the beam, the beam is also pinned to the right hand support. So there also it doesn't undergo a deflection. This is what the boundary conditions of the simply supported beam represent. These are the real life examples of a simply supported beam. This is the design which we have uh, naturally across. A stone should be the pillars, and these are the human created bridges uh, which are simply supported. These are uh, simply supported beams, are really useful uh, and they are given a realistic application in our real life. Even let us now go through fixed beam. Fixed beam is a beam where the two ends of the beam are fixed i mean they are rigidly fixed and it doesn't move on both sides okay what is a fixed beam a fixed beam is also one of the most simplest structure in all over the beams uh, it says that uh, the two ends of the beam is fixed one at each other, I mean we one at each end. So it finally represents that uh, the ends are fixed and they are uh, unable to move. I mean as compared to the simply supported beam, uh, there we have a roller support, but here we are having uh, fixed supports at the both ends. The boundary conditions of a fixed beam, uh, on applying some force on a fixed beam, 
there must be some deflection actually but mostly for a fixed beam uh, there is no deflection because the two ends are fixed and the material cannot bend or cannot deflect it until the force uh, undergoes the limit so uh, consider a length of uh, a length of beam fixed beam uh, at the starting point of the uh, beam that is at x is equal to 0 the deflection will be zero because uh, it is fixed on the left hand support uh, and similarly on the right hand support uh, where the beam length is l and the maximum length and there also the beam is fixed so we can say that uh, there will be no deflection at that point even okay the realistic applications of the fixed beam uh, this is the construction of trusses uh, for constructing some uh, designs, architecture things, uh, some places, uh, some uh, they keep floors uh, and some other things. So they use this iron rods and they fix it each other and they, they doesn't even move uh, until there is a force limit reached. So these are the fixed beams. And this bridge is also a fixed beam because it doesn't move because the vehicles uh, move constantly at from one part to another and they will be resting on this bridge even. The force applied on this but there will be uh, no deflection uh, until the for, I mean until the force is uh, up to its limit. So these are the real life examples of fixed beam and simply supported beams. Thank you. Uh, there are many other beams even uh, which can be discussed uh, but uh, now I have just thought about simply supported beams and fixed beams. Thank you.